If you have a data set in BigQuery that you wish to copy within a region or from one region to another, you can do so without needing to extract, move, and reload the data. In this video, you will learn two ways to copy a BigQuery dataset using the Cloud Console. Both options require three preparation steps. First, review the required permissions in the documentation page linked below to ensure you have the roles needed for the source dataset, destination dataset, and for creating transfers. Second, you must create the destination dataset where you would like the copy to live. In this tutorial, we will create the destination dataset in the same project. However, this is not required. Third, you must enable the BigQuery data transfer service in the same project as the source dataset. From the navigation menu, choose APIs and Services and Dashboard. Click to enable APIs and Services. Search for BigQuery Data Transfer API. Then click Enable. Navigate back to BigQuery using the search bar. Now we are ready to see the two options for copying your dataset. Option one is using the Copy Dataset icon. This method is simple, quick, and perfect for a one time dataset copy. Select the dataset name of the source dataset that you want to copy. Click the Copy Dataset icon. In the Copy Dataset dialog, select the Project ID and Destination Dataset ID. Optionally, check the Overwrite Destination table box if you want to refresh or overwrite the data and schema of the tables in the destination dataset. Click Copy. A permissions window may appear to give the BigQuery Data Transfer Service permission to manage your dataset copy. If so, click to allow. You can see the progress and view details of the dataset copy under Transfers. Back in the BigQuery console, you will see the tables populate under your destination dataset once the transfer completes. Consider deleting the old dataset to avoid additional storage costs, if that makes sense for your use case. Now, let's see option number two, using the Transfers UI. This option is best if you want to copy a dataset on a scheduled basis. In the left-hand nav, click Transfers. Click Create Transfer. In the Source dropdown, choose Dataset Copy. Give the transfer a name. In the Schedule Options section, you can choose when the transfer will execute, and also you may set the transfer to repeat at regular intervals. We will choose to start the transfer immediately and schedule it to execute weekly. Now, choose your destination dataset in the dropdown. You must copy in the name of your source dataset and project ID. Remember to use your project ID, not your project name. Check the Overwrite Destination table box if you want to refresh all data in the destination dataset. You can also receive email notifications if and when a transfer fails. Click Save. You can see progress and view details of the dataset in the Transfers UI. Once the transfer completes, you will see the tables populate under your destination dataset. Back in the Transfers UI, Make sure you use the three dots to delete or disable the recurring transfer to avoid ongoing charges. There you have it, two different ways to copy datasets depending on your needs. At general availability, data copied between regions is billed at the same rates as pricing for compute engine network egress between regions. BigQuery sends compressed data for copying across regions, so the gigabytes build may actually be less than the size of your dataset. All standard BigQuery usage charges for storage and querying will apply on the copied data. More information on copying datasets and pricing is linked in the description below. Happy analyzing!